So I'm Yao Qi, the founder of Allier. So at Allier, we are basically building the runtime execution and the elastic uh, scaling layer for Ethereum. So before we dive into like Allier, we want to know like what kind of um, fundamental problems we want to solve, right? So right now we know like Ethereum post merge and later on we will also have this uh, proto dunk sharding and lots of uh, like scaling solutions will be applied like sort of on Ethereum. At the same time, we have a bunch of uh, L1s can achieve some sort of high throughput with low latency. But at the same time as we can see, right, for the past uh, two years, there are more and more popular applications like X Infinity, DYDX, and also upcoming more and more games, which already have like uh, millions of users and uh, have to handle like sort of tons of million requests every day. So in that case, as you can see, right, um, like for the past two years, we encounter a lot of network congestion, gas war, even for some FT, like sort of mint. Like one example on Ethereum is this other deed, like FT mint, right? So basically people probably pay more gas fees than the mint fees. Um, it's not just um, like sort of the scenario on Ethereum, but also on some uh, highly scalable uh, blockchains, like uh, Polygon, we had this um, sort of sunflower uh, game, right? But at the same time, just like so many transactions and congestion in the network. Uh, same issue to Arbitrum. Basically, we had a very successful campaign to onboard more users, but at the same time, it's just like so popular, and at the same time, the network was so congested, and then they have to pause uh, until the Arbitrum Nitro came out so they can resume such campaign. So how we solve these kind of uh, network congestion problems for general purpose L1s? So one like sort of a thing we observe and basically on our side we want to propose is uh, about this uh, application tailored L2 execution layers. That's something like when we feel like there will be some network congestion for, uh, for the application, so the application probably can just spin off a dedicated layer for them to handle these transactions and in that case, all the transactions and requests can be handled on dedicated layer, and later we can roll up all the states back to the L1s. And that's how we call, either we call this elastic layer two, or we can call L3. Um, so some metrics, as you can see, right, at all layer, we can really provide a very high throughput, like sort of uh, execution environment with very low, like sort of um, uh, transaction fees with very fast uh, finality. Um, like uh, right now some metrics with some updated and basically we can really achieve a sub-second block time and we even with like tons of thousand transactions per second. Meanwhile, also support both EVM and also Wazan. So there are two products we would like to provide. Uh, the first one is like sort of short-lived application dedicated rollup and uh, we call flash layers. And later on I will just share with you why we want to have these short-lived flash layers. And meanwhile, there's a persistent Rollup solutions are quite similar to the other like existing optimistic rollups. And the idea to have the flash layers is quite straightforward for a lot of uh, demands and requirements from the applications. Uh, because as we can see, right, for a lot of NFT projects, one of the biggest like sort of campaigns is the NFT mint. And also sometimes it's an airdrop. Right? For this short-lived campaign, right, typically it only lasts for a few seconds or a few minutes. In that case, they can just uh, like sort of click a bunch of buttons via our dashboard and uh, protocol will automatically spin off a dedicated layer to handle the millions of requests for the empty mint. The user can just do the empty mint and uh, everything will be handled properly within a few seconds or minutes. After that, uh, protocol will automatically roll up all the states and empties back to Ethereum without sort of any like uh, third party interaction. Um, like at the same time, right, um, apart from the NFT, mi NFT Mint, we also want to provide very smooth user experience. In that case, there will be like sort of first come, first serve, and also a bunch of add-ons to make sure like it can relatively easy to onboard NFT projects and also for some game projects. Uh, beyond that, as you know, right, for a lot of games or even some direct exchanges, they want a dedicated layer, not just for a short, uh, short period of time, right? Also for a long time, for uh, months or even years. 
In that case, we will have this um, typical optimistic rollup for it. It's just like uh, our platform, right? It, the performance is quite good. At the same time, it's both EVM equivalent and also WASM compatible. Uh, beyond that, we also have a bunch of implementation for the like clients. Um, for example, in the future, users or developers can just run the like client or the verifiers in their browsers. In that case, they don't need to wait for the confirmation from the L2 network, so they can quickly verify the latest transaction or the latest block themselves. In that case, it can further shorten the sort of a challenge period, and plus with some hardware hardened like sort of verifiers as the challengers, so we can further like sort of really reduce the verification or even the challenge period. Um, beyond that, right, as we all know, there are a bunch of uh, state of art and uh, new ZK libraries and also a bunch of game and uh, metaverse SDKs which are not solidly um, uh, compatible. In that case, we still want to support these libraries. So we have this um, uh, WASM compatibility so we can allow the developer to deploy these libraries and literally they can use the solid contract to call these libraries to really have a versatile execution environment for the applications. Um, beyond that, right, uh, we also did a bunch of like sort of uh, campaigns and uh, use cases ourselves to show up like sort of the capabilities of our layer. One that we did one of these um, OG badge mint uh, like two months ago. Uh, we got like over 12,000 people participate in this campaign and all the NFTs minted within 18 seconds on the dedicated like sort of flash layer as I mentioned, right? So after the NFT mint minted like within minutes, so the protocol can automatically roll up the NFTs back to Ethereum. So right now everyone can just uh, treat the like, sort of NFT around the floor price of uh, 0.6 Ether or something. And another like sort of example is, um, is about a game. And uh, we hosted this, um, like community round for that forest like three weeks ago, and uh, we attracted like uh, tons of hundred players to play the game, and uh, and and basically we process around hundred thousand transaction per day. The feedback we got from the players that basically they didn't really notice it's a fully on-chain game, so the performance and also experience are quite good. And in that case, right as you can see, apart from this. Um, uh, good performance and also seamless experience, we can definitely support both uh, NFT and also game projects. Yeah, and right now, like uh, uh, last week, we launched the EVM equivalent testnet, so everyone can just try out uh, the uh, sort of the product for both of the uh, systems. And beyond that, uh, soon we will just uh, connect to more uh, L1s, um, uh, especially the EVM compatible ones, and uh, just try to provide a much better solution for both uh, NFT and the game and also derivatives exchange uh, applications. Yeah, that's sort of like all about the earlier and if you want to uh, find more information, just feel free to uh, DM me on Twitter. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Big round of applause.